A while ago, I made a video calling the surgeon fish the forgotten tier three. But you can make an argument there is another forgotten tier three in the meerkat. So the meerkat, it takes gold that you spent during the turn and it turns it into attack in battle for the adjacent pets. And while this synergizes with things that benefit from extra attack like a rooster or a warthog or a leopard, it is so much worse than the other tier threes, it is almost never worth taking. So I wanted to use it, and I cooked up a build using a leopard either side and got a win, but I thought we can do better. We can do more. Why not take this forgotten tier three and combine it with the undoubted forgotten tier six, the white tiger, and see what we can produce. And what we produced was 200 IQ magic, baby. Let's check it out. Okay, here we are. We're into the replay. I'm just going to let it roll. Uh, and I'll actually explain the build later, later. But first, I want to explain this. It is currently 11.52 a.m. on Christmas Eve. Now, I think this video will go up towards the middle of January. So you must be thinking, why the hell are you recording on Christmas Eve for a video that will go up three weeks later. Well, I'm trying to get really far ahead, man, because I have my in-laws with me at the moment, and then I have a trip to Japan with my wife afterwards. So it's a real blessing, man. Like, all these things are good, but I want the content to be consistent, so I'm getting way ahead. Now, this begs the next question. Will there be an update soon? And I... God, I hope there's not. I really hope there's not, because otherwise, like... The meerkat right now, there he is. Hello, little meerkat. You're trash at the moment. By the time this video goes up, meerkat could have been changed and it could be part of the meta and then I look like a dum-dum. But this is the this is the risk you take, you know? Like, what am I going to do? Like, not upload videos? I want to make sure that there's, like, quality content coming out consistently. So speaking of quality content, why did I do this build? <laughs> the simple answer is I became obsessed with doing... A white tiger video the white tiger used to be stronger and it was like it used to turn the pets behind it into instant level threes and that was too much now it just gives three plus three experience so to get the unit behind to level three that unit must be level two then the white tiger hits it makes it level three and it's sort of like actually a pretty good ability but the, the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, so you never see it. Grounded made a video about one month ago at the time of recording using a white tiger, and there probably hasn't been another video on it for... Uh, I think Gaming Grandpa made one in the weekly. Basically, like, in the custom arena, no one uses it. It's just, it's not worth it whatsoever. So I thought, how can I make a cool white tiger build that doesn't just use experience? Because what, like, no one wants to watch a video with, like, White Tiger, and then Lynx and Jellyfish and Clownfish. It's been done, right? So I wanted to get an XP, like a level up chain, that actually was kind of cool. And I thought, why not feature the Meerkat? Like, no one uses them anymore. Let's get, let's get kind of funky with it. And the way it comes together, I'm actually so happy with. So then I started going for it. And I realized pretty quickly that this team sucks butt. <laughs> this is a really, this is a really like not functional team. The reason is that you need so many levels and pivots later. And while you're doing that, everyone else is running lionfish and uh, shaking their own hand in the mirror, kissing the mirror or something, being like, I'm so good. And you're over here like trying to level up a meerkat and have just the right amount of attack on it. Garbage, my friend. But when it comes together, it's kind of beautiful. So here we are. We've actually... We're actually on three health. Somehow. Don't know how this team has managed to stay afoot. Although the meerkat is giving respectable attack, I guess. Like, look at the alpaca and the monkey here. Like, that's... That's probably going to help you draw or win some battles early. So basically, I started doing this. The reason the weasel is here is to give extra gold... For the meerkat to turn into attack. Because the meerkat's attack buff is based on gold spent, right? So you'd think you need a pet that gives you extra gold. I was actually towards the point where I was thinking, maybe that's not what I need to do. I was talking to Grounded and Flame about it. So I was saying, hey, I'm going for this build. It sucks. <laughs> maybe I'll move away from a gold generator and just focus on a scaler. Because think about it, white, white tiger, meerkat, your two leopards. That's four of your units. You only get one left. And 
you'd think it would be goal generating, but maybe like stats is a good thing to have in your team. Uh, as I think we're going to win this one. We are. Very nice. But it turns out the answer was just weasel all along, by the way. So now we're in turn 11. And now we can kind of actually lock in on what the build is. Do we get a leopard here? We do. That can come in. So, I'll just, from here on out, I'll just do it in slow. So obviously, everything, not the weasel, but everything else is start a battle. So the order is determined by attack. So we have white tiger, white tiger triggers first, of course. What we want is the meerkat to have higher attack than the leopard. And that way the meerkat can give attack, then the leopard can trigger. That's sort of what we're looking for here. But at the moment, I'm just prioritized on getting extra gold from the weasel. Are we even going to get... Is the weasel even going to die, I hear you asking? Yes, it will. Thank you for the three gold. We're through. And this, this was the part of the run where I kind of thought like, man, we're actually going to get this. The big brain build. So let's get a one up on the weasel. And I'm kind of... I need to get rid of the monkey, but I kind of am afraid to do it. And I also need a pear or a drumstick to get my meerkat higher. Doesn't really make sense. The day we haven't cooked just yet. This is the setup phase. And this is actually, you can see right now why a build like this gets crushed. Any competent team here would, would mop... I was going to say mop the floor. Would wipe the floor. Okay, so the meerkat's even. So it's 50-50 about whether the meerkat triggers first year. We still need more scaling on the meerkat. And it actually doesn't do it properly there. Now this build's kind of weird, right? You'd think you'd lose this. Just I, If I was to look at this team my, my, at a cursory glance, I would think we're losing this all day, every day. But I'm pretty sure the vulture hit all the wrong units at all the wrong times. And we draw. And now we're on two health. And you gotta feel good about this. Now the meerkat is higher. So now we just need to move off monkey and bring in another leopard. And we're going to have the synergy. I actually should move the white tiger to the front here, if I'm being honest. But either way, it doesn't matter. Now we actually get to see it in effect. White tiger into meerkat into leopard. And that's a bit better. <laughs> but once again, the thing that makes it really stupid is you want lots and lots of attack on your leopards. But I'm needing to keep them just at base stats to make sure the meerkat's higher. And this is why I thought maybe moving off Weasel would be the strat. But I'm actually kind of glad I didn't. Because it makes it funnier the fact that the Leopards aren't really that strong. We get some protective equipment. Just want to level up this Leopard. We can do it next round. And now this is the first round where we'll see it in Synergy. All the middle units will become level 3. And the Meerkat will boost the attack. Let's have a look at it. Let's go, baby! So what, they're dealing... 17 damage three times each. I can do math. That's 102 damage. 102 damage just coming from 12 6 leopards. That's pretty cool. And as if it was destiny, we actually verse a search and fish team. Eduardo, God bless you, my friend. Tying together the forgotten pets. It's stunning. It's beautiful. I level up a weasel for no real reason. I'm running back Weasel with one up. <laughs> that really should be at the front. I don't know. Who cares? Last battle. Let's check it out. We go against Mega Scaling Team. Maybe this isn't the last battle. Let's see how we go. Wait, I want it to be slow. Here we go. Up to 26. Wait, my math must have been wrong earlier. <laughs> <laughs> they were definitely not doing 17 damage. Unfortunate. We win this with better math. It's actually crushing math. Yeah, there is a world where we beat our good friend Bob G very easily. But we do... You know the, the good thing here? We do get the, the double weasel trigger, which means that's like extra gold for our meerkat next round. And here we go. This will be the final battle. I'm buffing my white tiger. I don't really think that was the strat. Maybe I just wanted it to stay alive. It's, it's, I feel like I'm a very different man to what I was 45 minutes ago when I played this. 
Here we go, let's see. They get up to 30, 31 and 32 attack. <coughs> and the old octopus parrot is always scary, especially when there's a tiger behind one of them. But you'll see the melons get the job done. And the forgotten pets have now been remembered. Although we do remember that they are kind of doo-doo. So... <laughs> anyway. Um, like I said, this will be going up so far ahead of when I'm actually recording it that I hope this is still functional. Give it a try for yourself. Try to make the white tiger and meerkat great again. Alright, goodbye people.